Jeremy Clarkson, 62, is known for his divisive views and today was no different as he released his column regarding the late Queen Elizabeth II's funeral. The Clarkson's Farm star claimed Meghan Markle, 41, for crying on demand at the Westminster State Funeral as he struggled to see why you cry at the funeral of someone who fronted an organization that you very obviously despise. The Queen passed away peacefully at Balmoral on September 8 at the age of 96. Her state funeral then took place at Westminster Abbey, with the royal family putting on a united front as they said their final goodbyes. Meghan attended alongside her husband Prince Harry and wept for the Queen during the moving service. Jeremy, watching the funeral live on TV, and claimed he thought that Meghan had acting tears, agreeing with the controversial Piers Morgan. He said, I don't want to sound like Piers Morgan, who's obsessed with the Markles, because I never want to sound like Piers Morgan. But I'm afraid there's no way around it. He's right. And I am going to sound like him when I say, those two are unhinged. Sure, we were shown pictures of you crying at the funeral but you're an actor, for crying out loud and actors can cry on demand. Even I can. And, on a number of occasions, have. He ended with the bold statement in his son column, I very much doubt those tears were real. Because why would you cry at the funeral of someone who fronted an organization that you very obviously despise? Following the Queen's passing, Jeremy penned a tribute to her on social media as well as dedicating a whole column to her. The 62-year-old began by telling readers he had struggled to sleep on the day it was announced and went on to call the Queen our unchanging rock. Reflecting on her 70 years on the throne, he went on to say, what's truly incredible is that she never really changed. Dot that is so true. And so admirable. Continuing for the aforementioned publication, Jeremy said, I loved her for that, the fact that she very obviously chose her outfit to suit the prevailing weather conditions, not the latest issue of Vogue. The presenter went on to praise the Queen for serving her duty and always being kind. Following his mother's death, Prince Charles was immediately appointed as King Charles III, while his wife Camilla became the Queen Consort. Thousands of people have since paid their respects by laying flowers and messages outside Buckingham Palace. Many have been moved or taken to nearby Green Park, but officials have raised concerns about some of the items being left including marmalade sandwiches and Paddington Bear toys.